Welcome to today's tutorial. So in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to add and subtract vectors. All right, so if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, click on the subscription button now and also click on the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that I'll be posting. Yeah, if you have any questions or you want me to help you in math, uh, physics, chemistry and uh, biology, feel free to contact me using any of these lines on the screen. All right, so let's quickly begin to solve the questions. So the first question there is asking us to find um, the value of what? The value of z. If, um, I mean, it's asking us to find the value of z, which is given by u minus v, because uh, u has been given, v has been given, and w has been given. So here what we're just finding is uh, the value of z. So z is therefore going to be, so u, We've been given u to be 1, 2, 3. And then we're subtracting it from, I mean, we're subtracting it uh, with what? With v. So v is 2, 2, negative 1. Okay. So if this is what you've been given, one thing you have to understand about addition and subtraction of vectors is that um, when you are adding or subtracting vectors, you simply just add and subtract corresponding uh, components. So we have the x, y, and z component. So even in this one, in this other bracket, we have the x, y, and z component. So to find z, I'm going to uh, subtract 1 minus 2. So 1 minus 2, the answer is negative 1, comma. 2 minus 2, the answer is 0, comma. 3 minus negative 1, the answer is 4. Because we know that 3 minus negative 1 gives us 4. How this negative and that negative gives us what? A plus, which gives us 4. So this is the solution of the first question. Let's move on to, to part B. So part B is also asking us to find Z and we have been given that Z can be found by um, um, by um, working out this operation which is U minus V plus 2W. So Z is therefore going to be equal to uh, U is 1, 2, 3. Uh, v is 2 comma 2 comma negative 1 and we have plus um, plus 2w so 2w is um, we're just multiplying 2 times w which has been given to be 4 comma 0 comma negative 4 all right so we can now work out this operation so we have z is equal to so 1 minus 2 we have um, negative 1, uh, we have 2 minus 2, we have 0 there, then 3 minus 1, minus negative 1, we have 4. Then we are, we are adding it to this, so 2 times 8 there, or rather 2 times 4, we're getting 8, 2 times 0, we're getting 0, 2 times negative 4, we're getting negative 8. So we add these two vectors now. So addition of these vectors will also be done the same way we we'll add the corresponding component. So we have x component plus the x component there. So negative 1 plus 8, we're getting 7, comma 0 plus 0, we're getting 0, 4 plus negative 8, we're getting um, negative uh, 4. So this is the solution. Alright, so this is a very simple question. We quickly move on to this other operation there. So we've been asked, according to the question, to find the value of z. So we have 3u is equal to w. So to find the value of z here, I'm going to make z the subject of the formula. I'll take this to the other side of the equal sign so that I remain 2z this side, w plus 3u, and everything over to everything over to the value of z becomes um, w plus 2 uh, plus 3u over 2. Okay, so z is now going to be equal to, so w has been given, according to the equation, we have 4, 0, negative 4, 
and we have uh, three u has also been given to be one two three then we're dividing everything by two so we have um, so to find z we have four comma zero comma negative four then we multiply the three with everything in the uh, in the vector yeah in the vector there so our three times one we have three three times two we are getting six three times three we're getting nine and then we are dividing everything by two so z is therefore going to be equal to four plus three this will give us seven zero plus six will give us six and then negative four plus nine we are getting five we're dividing everything by two so the value of c is therefore going to be um open brackets yeah so we open this type of bracket which shows that it's a vector seven over two seven divided by two give us seven over two comma six divided by two will give us three five divided by two will give us five over two so this is the vector that they want us to find all right so you are going to solve the last question there as your exercise feel free to send your solutions so that i can check through them in case you are doubting that you've gotten it right or wrong all right so make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, click on the notification button so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting and if you have any questions or you want uh, to uh, to join my online lessons for physics chemistry biology and mathematics you can simply just send your text messages or call me directly um, using these lines on the screen my name is Hamted. see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom